Okay, let's do a quick overview of this slide and uh, do some examples with it. So let's say that I'm over here in my CF disk creating a new partition. I'm going to go ahead and create a new partition. Now look down at the bottom. It says M for megabytes, G for gigabytes, da 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 up here. So it is using the base 2 definition. So I'm going to do 100 M. It should do megabytes. Awesome. So created that SDA7 partition that you can currently see. I'm going to write that out. Yes. And quit. And sudo part probe to reread that. And if you do a sudo f disk minus L, it should show SDA7 there. Awesome. So I just created a, a 100 megabyte partition. Now, I'm going to go format that. Um, sorry, I can't talk and type at the same time. Uh, using the MKFS command, which I've looked at before, but I'm going to try to recreate it similar to what I have here on the slide. So on the slide I said I've got a reserved 5% and block size 2048. So we can format a file system now using some of these parameters. I can pass in the block size. I can pass in the bytes per inode. I can pass in the inode size. I can pass in the number of reserved blocks percentage, which I, what did I say that was? 5%, so 2048 and 5%. So I'm gonna use minus B and minus M. So sudo mkfs.ext4 minus B, 2048 minus M, 5%, dev SDA7. And it says, great, get rid of the old blocks, creating a new file system with 2K blocks and this many inodes. Super blocks were stored, different location, writing inode tables, awesome. So I'm going to create another directory to mount that at sudo mount dev sda7 on mnt2. Then we can use the mount command and see that it is actually mounted. But let's come back here to our slide. And so we're calculating how many bytes there are and total blocks. Let's just take a look. So df, let's just do the df command. So it's showing that I have this many blocks, this many have been used, this many available, but I don't know if that's entirely true because it's showing it to us in one K blocks. Let's look at the man page for df. So if we wanna change the block size that's being displayed to us, block size is down here minus B, so this minus B 2048 probably. So minus B 2048, show it to me in 2K blocks. There we go. So it's showing that I have this many 2K blocks, this many used, and this many available to us to use. Okay. Let's look at this command, which allows us to see some of that um, metadata and information about the file system uh, for SDA7. And then I just want to see any line that has the word block in it. And I don't care about the case of the word block. So as I do that, notice block count uh, 51,200. And over here on my slide, great, that's what we had. Um, and you don't actually see the number 104857600 anywhere, but if you were to multiply that block count by the by our block size, that's what you would get. And you could also verify that reserved block count should be 5% of that number. And then we can see our free blocks and some other information. So awesome.